Well, as you can see, five courts in action today. Matches reeling on and off throughout the day. 80 matches will be concluded today by the end of play. We'll be bringing you 10 of them. We're through four of them already. And you can see we've had uh, seeded carnage already. Michelle Lee ousting Ratchanop Intanon and the Stueva sisters ousting Poli and Rahiu in the six seeds of Indonesia. They're gone as well. Then Tai Su Ying sort of steadied the ship as regards the seeds with a good win over Sainanewa. And then Matsutomo and Takahashi again as the second seeds in the women's doubles. Turning our attention now to a mouth-watering fifth match, a men's singles matchup, first meeting from the top of the bottom half of the men's singles draw, a Franco-Indian clash featuring only the fourth player ever to win four sets, uh, Super Series titles in a year. The third seed, Kadabi Shrikanth, and a very dangerous floater here in blue, Brice Levadez, currently playing just one spot of his career high at 23 in the world rankings. It's their first meeting between these two. And that is enticing in itself because both very statuesque, particularly Shrikanth Kadambi here, who trails onto the court, his French opponent. Should be really interesting, though, this one. Kidambi ranked fifth in the world. Seeded third here against Bruce Levado of France. 31 years old, 5 foot 11, the Frenchman. Against uh, Kidambi Shrikian who has been as high as second in the world in November last season with all of this endeavour. You can choose red or what? Red, black, red. It's red, no choice. I, I think I have to correct you, Paul, that uh, I actually think that Kidambi is number three in the world and yeah. not five. Beg your pardon, you're absolutely right. So, um, but he's got a lot of points to defend in the coming months because he did so well last year at that point in time where he won four tournaments and um, you know he's got a lot of points to defend on his world ranking coming up absolutely ranked third five foot ten age 25. came the first indian to win a super series premier men's singles title and defeated uh, the olympic champion lin dan in 2014 in china open super series premier for the so, setting an Indian record for three, entering three consecutive Super Series finals. And then uh, Kadambi held the steam company, becoming only the fourth ever player to win four Super Series titles in one year after he won the French Super Series. So, a man, as you say, who has got a lot to do, but he, you know, he was out for a while, wasn't he, with a knee injury, I believe it was, sort of in 2016, but came back very strong. His opponent, now this guy is really interesting, Brice Levadez, because he's 31 years old, from France, 5 foot 11, ranked 23 in the world, as you can see. He's been a, a spot higher in November 2014. He's got 11 international challenger titles to his name. And, uh, well, the thing with him, the headline to him, I suppose, is uh, last season he scalped three top 10 players. So very, very dangerous. He's beaten Jana Jorgensen, Moral Must, and amongst others. And, uh, a real great player to watch, but you feel sometimes he sort of lacks consistency with what he does, and almost as if, being a European, he doesn't seem that convinced that he belongs in the business end of tournaments like this. It's going to be interesting to see, because if he starts well, as we say hello to our umpire, service judge he could do very very well given a fair win I think the biggest win he had uh, was when at the uh, the world championship in, in August last year in, in Glasgow where he beat uh, Lee the legend legendary Lee Chong Wei in the first round in three thrilling games and uh, me being in Malaysia I know that uh, it had the whole nation on its feet you know the, the way that uh, Breeze actually managed to win it was devastating for Malaysia. 
Yeah, it was a very uh, proud career win for him that day, and a career-defining win, frankly. He looks, he's got that swagger, hasn't he? Am I right? Is he a man of substance? Let's find out here. This is a very tough ask. Bruce Levadez of France up against Kidambi Shrikant of India. That's the third seed. And we speak of the talent of the Frenchman, but he's not been beyond the round of 16 so far this season. As richly talented as he, as he is, it's all about consistency and performance from him. Good leave there. But he's got a good court presence. I guess that's what I like about him, Morton. <laughs> yeah, he he's thriving on on the challenge. There's no doubt he's enjoying it. When he's he's up against the better players, he is enjoying it. When he's playing with lesser players, the wrong to say, but uh, not as high on the world ranking, then you know he have a tendency to say, okay, uh, never mind. But. You know, he can really raise his level now and again. For me, in this match, it's not how much uh, or how well Breeze Levadez is playing, because I'm, I know that he will, he will do well in this match. He, he will enjoy it, and that can, can raise his game. But I'm much more looking to see how Shrikant is doing, because he's been injured again end of 2017, and uh, his first comeback tournament was the Indian Open. And he, he actually lost the second round to Iskander Sukhanayn from, from Malaysia in that second match and looked a bit rusty, to be honest. So for me, it's very, very important and interesting to see how he will do in a match like this. The man on the left talks about, I'm enjoying my game when I'm having fun on court, I can play well. Yes, uh, when I play like this. So it's, it is all about getting to that sort of fun state for him and being very relaxed. Uh, he's so driving on it, as here. I said, yes. He likes just, the limelight, yeah, he doesn't he? He enjoys the spotlight. Yeah. Look at me, I yeah. can do it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now this is a, a heady start for him. Really hitting the ground, running here. And, uh, well, they might make uh, the third seed a little edgy. But it's all all about self-confidence, and and I think that Shrikant, uh, you know, might lack it at the moment, having that injury end of last year. The first tournament comeback did not really work out. The All England means the world to 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 the players, so to do well here is very very important, and uh, I can understand if he's a little bit hesitant. Yeah, he talks of the winning the All England as Kidambi that sort of gives a legendary status to a player. But so far we haven't seen anything of what Kidambi can do. Because normally he's a very aggressive player. He likes that attack. He is playing good net shots and getting the lift and really go for a big hard smash. But we haven't seen that at all. 6-2 down here. He's just, you know, on court at the moment, but he's not really playing his own game. He speaks as if winning, allow, winning here would allow me to join the big names in the history of the sport. And it's got a presence, this place, hasn't it? And this event that can sometimes overwhelm, particularly from the start. And you can see his timing is awry, and now he's getting suffocated by scoreboard pressure a little bit as well. And that can be tough to recover from. Simple mistake here, very, not even close, not even in, into the net. I'm, I'm sure he's feeling the pressure, but in, in countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, India, Denmark, you know, the All England is, is so prestigious because that has been the tournament going on for more than 100 years. This was the tournament that people travelled to, to try to win, to become the best in the world. Now, 
that activate the Indian. Watched on by the calm, deep brown eyes of Kovichand. On the left. See, that's, that's what we normally see from him. This is an awesome smash. Not only the power, the placement, everything is really good. Very steep. Look at how high he gets. It's a clean winner. And this is how we normally see Sri Kankadambi play. Set it up nicely at the net, get that lift, get the attack, play these hard smashes. But it's interesting to follow players around the world having had injury problems, you know, the comeback, the whole situation, gaining self-confidence. It only take one tournament, it only take one match, it might only take one minute, and you've got it and you're back into it. And I think this is what Shrikan Kidambi is actually looking for. We have another example on the world rank, on, on the world circuit at the moment, which is Janu Jorgensen. He's exactly in the same boat. Back from injury, back from trying to do this, trying to get the, the break, the first break, and yes, I'm back in there. I can get back to top two, top ten in the world, and so on. Kidambi is on the same road. Yeah, yeah, well, well said. A moment of inspiration, a, a net cord here and there, a lapsing concentration from your opponent, and suddenly you're in. And like you say, once you get on that sort of... Once you, like you imply, once you get on that wave of momentum, you've got to ride it all the way as long as you can. It's a sort of sixth sense, isn't it? Leverez, though, racing towards the turn pretty quickly here. Well, a few too many unforced errors from the third seed, and Leverez it is, who is 11 points to five ahead after just six minutes played. This man has a sporting ambition to medal at the European or World Championships, he declares, or the Olympic Games. He'll take either of those three. But he's kind of running out of time, I guess. He's 31 years old. He needs to do it soon. It's today the day. Well done. He's a really keen interest in his movement, the man in blue. He really does. Where Trikant just looks a little hesitant and indecisive. Bruce Leverdez is on it, dialed in from the off. Can Kadambi definitely have to, to find better form than what we see now if he wants to win this match? We've only seen once or twice how he can play. And he is 13 5 down, and he's really got to find it somewhere. He's, he's got to find it. I, I would like to see more urgency, I would like to see more, I would say, desperation. Um, how, how to get back into it add on the pressure, put more pace into it. Even if I make more mistakes, never mind, I, I have to try. Mm. You, you almost feel that he needs a roar, a scream or something just to get him going. He just looks a little too contained at the moment, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's very afraid, yes, as, as what we've seen now. He's definitely not the one I 
I have seen. He's playing not to lose rather than being sort of proactive. But he's definite right? to lose if he keeps playing like this. <laughs> he looks sort of overwhelmed a little by the occasion. It sounds ridiculous when you've won four Super Series titles last season. But of course, with that comes an expectation, right? And, you know, funny things go through the, the mind of an athlete from time to time. And of course, you've got to metaphorically head towards the sun and stay as positive as you can. That's easier said than done on tough <laughs> days. And tough days in the yeah. office. Yeah. But, but, you know, I, I had the pleasure of, of watching uh, Srikant Kadampi in his first ever international final. That was in the uh, Said Modi uh, Grand Prix Gold Tournament in India, where he actually made it to the final and he played uh, a young Chinese player. And he won the first game, and he was way up in the second. And then suddenly he got really nervous. And haven't we all done that, though? You know, and we get a little tight. It. He actually lost mm -hmm. that match. Mm -hmm. And he, he was completely confused, didn't know what to do, really took all the wrong decisions and so on. So, you know, it's, it's maybe in the genes there somewhere. Doesn't, doesn't everybody, did you not have one of those in your locker years ago? Obviously, you've tried as much as you can to dismiss it, but yeah, yeah, forgotten all about it. <laughs> I never did it. <laughs> but, you know, you of need course that, you that, that wounding loss to move on from that situation, so you don't do it again, right? Of course you have, and you learn from your, your defeats more than anything, I would say. But um, you have to get on with it, you have to get over it, you have to have that, as I say, urgency, desperation to, to want to excel. And at the moment, as I see it, he's just standing back waiting for something to happen. He's got to take it. Yeah, it's a very uh, tepid, stifled performance so far from the man in black. But take no credit away from the Frenchman, who's uh, really wired and on it. Yeah, he's just staying back, he's just waiting because uh, mistakes like this are coming quite frequently, so he is happy. Good uh, cross. Lucky for, uh, for the Breeze Lever Days than that one. He got it. Uh, but very, very that one there is really lucky that he scraped it off the floor. Service over, 7 First meeting between these two, so, you know, we can't get a read on what we might expect. It's a blank canvas, and one that the Frenchman is enjoying the matchup at the moment, despite that service ball. Yeah, but Liverdays normally never get to that Service's level of, you know, play in the tournaments seven. like last 16 quarters, semis and so on. Now, it's, it's, when he gets into the top tournaments like this, he, he wouldn't normally lose in the first or second round. That's out. Yeah, I would call that a challenge. I'm pretty sure it's out. Well, he certainly has been the architect of his own downfall so far. Kadambi Shrikant. He has to get on the program pretty quickly and I'm sure the coach will come on with multiple ideas at the end of game one which feels just minutes away frankly because that one is missed by a country mile again yes he is really struggling it's not a nice place to be and so spare a sympathy thought for this man 1.6 kilometers <laughs> 13 game points no that's not to be missed that's nice. Brilliant That's very cross block nice. off the backhand. <laughs> Levadez secures the opening game. 21 points to seven. Who would have thought that coming into this one? So the Frenchman with a fine start. After 12 minutes, he takes the opening game. Thank you. 
Scene, isn't it? Five courts of uh, furious badminton unfolding. Lots of upsets already on day one. We've had certainly two big upsets on this court alone. As we're regaining, resuming game two here, please, uh, Levides. The game to the good against the third seed in the men's singles. So, so I sensed when I saw the uh, <coughs> the talk between uh, Kadambi and, and his coach uh, Gubichan that Gubichan actually wanted exactly what I'm saying. You know, you, you've got to take it. You've got to. It's not going to be given to you. You have to play a lot faster. You have to be a lot more aggressive in the way you you do things. And if you don't do that, you, you cannot win. I sensed it just by watching, uh, you know, the hands and, and and the whole situation that this is what his coach wants to do. And I completely concur with that. He's got to take it. He's not going to be given to him. One, two. Yeah, there's been a lot of head scratching going on back home in India, I'm sure. Can he turn this subpar performance around the man in black? Certainly capable of doing that. We've seen some brilliance from him, particularly last season. Already the beginning here of the second game is much, much, much better. But the physicality, the movement, the expression of him, he looks like a different person. He's playing a lot faster. Mm. There's an urgency about the movement now. Hunting the shuttle rather than fearing it, seemingly. Starting to pull away here. There's a nod of the head, an acknowledgement that the real Kadambi Shukant has reappeared. Oh, but you could just see, it's just a, a different look altogether. It looks great. There's angle in his knees, he looks keen. Suddenly now, even as early as this uh, in the second game, you feel there's a lot of badminton to be played in this first round men's singles clash. It's going wild. Where there was hesitancy and doubt. Now there's deception and confidence from the racket of the damage we can. It's almost the perfect uh, turnaround from Levides. 
The final shot just spilling over the back line from the Frenchman. And it's a four-point game in favour of Kudambi now. And I can tell you that the Birmingham Arena is filling up quicker and quicker. Stand fans just reeling in from the gangways behind the stands. Well, it's an unnerving time right now, Morton, for the Frenchman who suddenly is playing a different opponent altogether. <laughs> Seemingly. Yeah, you can say that. Um, but I, once again, I must say, I, I sense that Livadeus is now not taking his chance. He, he was, as you say, maybe expecting business as usual from the first game. But you must know. You must know. That someone who is world number three is not going to lie down just like that. And he will do something. So, again, the start of the second game is utmost importance. And I somehow felt that he just let it slip. into submission right so, now. So, three. There is a complete sea change here in this one. The tide has really turned. He is becoming long. menacing. Uh, OK, it didn't so, brush so the hair of Lebedez. Four, nine. Of action there from the man in blue. Play. So if I was Breeze now, I, I would really put some effort in to try to catch up before the interval. Use a lot of energy, use whatever you have to try to catch up. Because so let's say 11 4, four. It's more, or less slipped, yeah, yeah. more or less slipped away yeah. from him. But like an 11-7, 11-8 is still possible. That's good. So, so. Didn't quite make it, straining Final every ten. sinew. But it's a completely different look. He just, it's great to see him back. So 11-5 then, Srikanth Kadambi leads in this second game as he heads to the turnaround. Shrikant Kidambi was intimidated by the alpha male body language of Levadez, who sort of got that sort of swagger and aura about him. I think he did. I think he was quite, you know, put off in the opening game because of that first meeting against him. Maybe he's practiced with him along the way. There we go. They're resuming then with the, the third seed back in the running here. But still with a lot of work to do. Yes, it's definitely far from a foregone conclusion. But I think this game is, I think we will have a deciding game quite soon. I think Greece will um, 
elegantly let it slip soon and then uh, waste, or not waste, but save all his energy for, for the third game and then uh, take it from there. Put everything into that third game and see if he can shake it up. Yeah, because you sense that um, Kadambi is over the hill and far away as regards this second game. It's almost like the first game just opposite. Yeah. Opting for a change of play. Did he just kiss the racket then, as if to say, come on, bring me luck? <laughs> <laughs> of course, players are uh, very superstitious. And very superstitious, yeah, absolutely. And it's their clutch of comfort, if you will. Yeah. You can talk to any one of them, they have a thing or two. Anyone. Well, you think of, uh, you know, in a different sport of tennis, Rafa Nadal are lining his bottles up. They must be pointing the right way. You know, there, there and, uh, are so many things, so well, many uh, rituals. A lot of good athletes were played with insecurity. What about yourself? Did you have any things not, not treading on lines or no, you know, between No, points? not really. I, I, I was told I had something with my socks. I had to, you know, they had to be quite perfect. <laughs> but I don't know if it's true or not. It was... Uh, not something I did on purpose. Perfect what, in the way that they, 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 they laid, or you had to have two pairs on? Two pairs. One? Okay. okay. Two okay. pairs. But in those days, the cushions and the shoes were not the same as what they are today. Mm. So it's over, 7-14. Yeah, there was no call, and a fist pump greets what uh, felt like an in shot. We're going to go upstairs to challenge it. Get the cogs of Hawkeye going again. And still no service fault called. Nope. Interestingly, with the new ruling in the entire tournament. We're talking about yes. all five courts. Oh, really? You haven't yes. heard on any of the other courts, no, too? No, wow. No. And that was I'm just, you know, watching it now and again, and mm. there's no course. Mm. That was a good challenge from Brice Levedez there. But he's still got a lot of work to do, training by six points in the second game. Well, where it was jagged and staccato, his performance in the man in black in the opening game, now there's a fluency, fluidity. He's like oil right now. He's gliding around the court with effect. And I'm sure it's a focus thing, don't you? He just there's, seems to have said, right, no doubt he's feeling better. He's feeling better yeah. inside. He's, he's more confident. Yeah. And as you said, it just takes a run of a few points at the start of game two, and he's up and running. And now the complexion is completely different in this one. It's interesting we talked about uh, how singles players normally turn into doubles players if they turn into doubles players so like uh, Matsutomo in from, from Japan in the women's doubles in in Kidampi's case it's actually opposite he was leaning more towards the doubles when he was younger and then eventually decided to go to singles which is completely opposite it's never happened before I think but he is actually the one that's done it the opposite. The reverse, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps he needed that sort of confidence of another player alongside to infuse within him. And now he's really starting to believe. Full length dive there. To no avail in the end, though. That one goes down as an unforced error. He won't like that, having uh, invested so much energy into that point. But he's got to be careful now. It, it might not, could then be, it might not look so, you know, he's 15, 10 up. If he's not careful, he can lose another three points and then 13 15. Then Greece is there, Levades is there, and you know, everything can happen. So, even though it might not look so critical, I think it's critical. Kidambi must win the next few points, and he got the first one here 16 10.
Great deception there from the third seed. about it, didn't it? Hold on. Spike down the line with authority. And suddenly a sense of calm resumes in the Indian bench. Yeah, he's getting the right points at the moment. He got the one from 15 to 16 when he was getting a bit close. He got the 17th point when he was getting a bit close. He's getting the right points. Challenge cool. Yeah, Livides is calling it once again on the baseline. A hush of anticipation. As we need the electronic review to confirm whether it was in or out. He was right again. Yeah, he's done uh, very well with his challenges, the Frenchman. India's prime hope for the title, then. actually a bit chance for Livides. Played it nicely. Got this opportunity here. It's a slightly short half-court shot and then he he still missed it. We're back into the same situation. The gap is four points. But as I say, Breeze Liberde is getting another two, maybe three points. It's back on track and pressure, tension, everything is on Kidambi. Liberde, who started playing age 12 in 1998, honed his skills for 10 years at his local club. Then he joined the French national badminton team, became French national champion in men's singles for seven years in a row between 2008 and 15. Went to the London Summer Olympics in 2012. Didn't qualify through his group. It's those kind of big events that he wants to do well in. There's more precision from the Indian now. It's a lion-hearted turnaround from him. He's blazed black back into this one. It's a commanding badminton. Here he is then with six game points. Game. Only needs one. So he steals the game then. 21-14, he's back on terms, and that will delight him, I'm sure. After 33 minutes played, we are going the distance. There will be a deciding game then to decide this opening men's singles encounter featuring the third seed in the picture. Thank you. 
ça peut m'aider, ça risque fort, c'est pas qu'il se casse de temps en temps. Mais il faut vraiment, il y a le seul petit problème des techniques en fond de cours, c'est que quand tu ne fais pas le pas et que tu tapes comme ça, il a même des beaux smatchs, il va tout se remis et il te fait mal physique. Là, tu n'en as rien à foutre, c'est bien sûr. Et là, quand tu viens de chercher le fond, tu prends la balle et là, tu as raison, fixation, tac, sang, tac, sang. Et n'oublie pas, je pousse et après, je prends la balle. Là, tu vas reprendre la balle et après, tu pousses. So, who's going to impose themselves then at the start of game three here? Will it be the Frenchman or the Indian? So much to play for. And this prestigious high status. Super thousand event here in Birmingham. What a beautiful scene that is. Five courts. Blazing action on day one. Several seeded upsets already throughout all of the five disciplines. The start of game three. Two-point advantage early then for Kidambi. And once again, as I've said, I think the main thing is for Fabrice Livadez to, you know, hang on, stay in there, put everything into the beginning here because he's got to check it up. Would you chunk it down then into sort of five-point sections? Honestly, Literally, would, that's what you do, right? Even down to three points. Yeah. Stay into the next three points, I have to win 2-1. Well, the words of Morton Frost, former world number one. Four times champion at this event. The reverse slice. Serving him well there, Levitas. Deadlock in the third and deciding game here. Now we can see the hesitant, nervous Kidambi or the flying, expressive. Terrific, Kidambi. That's been a little too clever there. That was a good chance by Levides. Look at this, this one here. That was a clever chance to play. Good net play. Very tight. So my advice to Kidambi is now that Levides is definitely going to play that net. He's going to take his chances at the net, get him away from there. Play into the court, lift to the baseline, don't get him too close. He's got the swagger back, hasn't he? Which is disturbing because it's that that sort of almost you, you sense got in the head of Kidambi from the off.
suddenly the focus precision is seemingly back in the Indians game. Look at that, well weighted. simple points to give away for Dividez. If he wants to stay in here, he's got to make it harder for uh, Shrikant. So in terms of ends and drifts and all of that technical talk, who does that kind of favour right now then, Morton? I mean, obviously I they'll, I adre they'll adjust the way they play, but... Yeah, but I don't think it's, it, it's, a, it's a lot. I actually think it's very minimal. So I, I don't think really it affects anything. They, they seem to be adjusting really nicely to it. Nine, five. The precision of the world number three taking its toll on the French player. Despite a wonderful block there. He's waiting for the court attendant to sweep the court. So it's a four-point game in favour of Shrikanth Kadambi. He's so desperate to get to the net, isn't he, the Frenchman? He is. He won't. He wants into the net. He wants to mm. really play these tight shots. Reflexive brilliance from Kadambi there. No, it was on the floor first. Oh, was it? It was on Thank the floor first. Thank you, Pat. Don't worry. You will see now. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. You've got good eyes, Morton. We're not playing tennis. <laughs> That's a nice shot. That's Found a it. really, really nice shot. Well played down the line, good defensive shot, counter-attacking. Well, he has the lead, the mid-game interval, uh, 11 points to six. After 43 minutes played, certainly psychologically has the upper hand, and he really has done well to regroup from what was a perilous position after the opening game, where he really looked at, kind of out of it. And, but the beast has awoken within him. I, I must admit that I was wondering in the first game, why is he here? Well, what, you know, you, you must be able to put more into it than this. That was my feeling when I was sitting here watching it. It looked like he wanted it so badly, this title overall, that he forgot to chunk it down and he just looked stifled by nerds. Let's see how it goes. I, I actually think he will win this match now. 11-6 up. Uh, he's gained some confidence. He's back into it. Let's, let's see whether this can be a turnaround point for him. Good attack 
open shot there. Very nicely played. Wonderful steep angle on this match. And despite the full length dive, could be unable to return the shuttle on that occasion. So the deficit is reducing. Yeah, it's interesting to see whether Kidan can win the, um, as I said, the important points. Just like when uh, Levides was catching up in the second game, can he win these important points that, you know, instead of 9-11, uh, it will be 12-8. Mm. You know, these points, that's really, really important to keep that gap and lead. That will be interesting to see. Discipline from there yeah, was a very nice net shot played by Kidami there. This is one of the specialities of Livides. Really strong at the body when he's attacked at the body. He's able to get these angles on his returns, which is uh, very unusual. He's, he's good at it. I've seen that on many occasions, and he's really good at it. Well, it's almost as if this man is a little bit haunted by the Lee Chong Wei result in the first round at uh, <laughs> Glasgow last year. You know, the upset, the fact that he does have swagger, and he has really got inside the head of Kidambi so far today, and he's doing a good job here to retrieve this deficit. Back to two points now. Back to two, but that's what I say. Mm. Can he win the important point 13 mm. 10? Or is it going to be 11 12? Time! Well done. French fans will delight in what they're seeing right now. Cross drop there. Yeah, he's fired up now. So he's uh, brought parity back to this uh, third and deciding game, and it's been a lion hearted turnaround from the Frenchman. Can he hold on now with this momentum that he's got? Again, body language looking good from the man in blue. <laughs> yes. That's oh, out. Missed it. That's out. Whoa. We might have another upset here. Mm. Mm. That was a tight miss, wasn't it? And he's got the swagger back. And in contrast, the body language of Shrikant Kidambi just looks a little hesitant, stifled, as we saw in the opening game. Perhaps he's doubting again. On what surely, he surely he's day. doubting it. Mm. There's no doubt. He has to find that level of focus that he did in the second game. All over that net like a rash right now.
decision uh, smash from Kidambi. Who are you calling at this stage, Morton? Any, any? It's completely open. I, honestly, I thought 11, what is it, 11 5 at the mm. interval? Mm. I was 11, sure. 6. 11 6. Mm. I was sure that uh, Kidambi would win. Mm. But he he's completely scrambled it. He's, he's yeah. lost it. Mm. So uh, now 14 all, anything can happen. Honestly, anything can happen. That's out. Trippet really, 14. really lucky on that one. Mm. Because Levadez looks more imposing. It, bigger. It was he a looks bigger on the court, it, doesn't he? It was he? a yeah. winner. It was a definite winner. That's out. That's way out. Not even close. I can understand he's worried when you're looking at Gubijan. Mm. 15 all. Anything can happen. Very indecisive there. And there's no doubt that Levides is in, into that zone. He's talking about this is joyful. I'm having fun. And it, this is really where he wants to be playing against the top three player in the world. And he's on 15 all in the third game. This is where he Try. wants to be. Yeah, and he's relishing it. There's another fist pump. Great body language from him. There's been a few curt commands barked out from Gopichan courtside towards his charge, but to no avail in that point. Did that with spike and pace, but couldn't clear the net. Legs, legs ready. Legs fast to do. Oh, he got out of it. He got out of it. He's still out of it. <laughs> he was in so much trouble in that one. Good proactivity that, here from yeah. the Indian. What next then in this uh, ever so dramatic fifth match here on day one? Seems he might have just lowered his ankle a little there, perhaps. Uh, I don't think so. Just buying a little time, perhaps. I think so. Mm. So Kidambi with the slender lead. The Frenchman rushing anxiously a little there. He's taking his chances. I would do the same. He's definitely taking his chances. Yeah, you don't want to get in that situation after the match and you say, what if? Uh, he's going for it. This is there to win. And uh, he didn't get it on the first one. But yeah, here we are, 17-18. Anything can happen. Well, again, that smash missed as an unforced error will imbue the situation with even more nerves. There's no telling who's going to wriggle through this still. Another unforced. Who would have thought it? A man with four Super Series titles to his name last season. So if I say one thing, it would go opposite, so I will not say anything. <laughs> Engineered point from the Frenchman. 
spreading the court nicely. Yeah, I think Kadambi did well. He was in, in doubt whether to leave one of the shots on the baseline, but he chose to take it. But he didn't really throw him off in, in the rally, and he stayed in the rally pretty well. He didn't win it, but uh, that was not due to that situation. The Frenchman, two points away from another huge upset, this time in the men's singles draw, perhaps. Great leave from Shrikant Kadambi there, as he draws level yet again in this nervy nail-biter. Well played, directed Not right point. at the body of the Indian, and he gets his way in the end, and that brings up a match point opportunity for Brice Levadez. That was lucky. Levadez really moved in very nicely there. How he really tried to get that attack on the body. And somehow, Srikanthi wriggled his way out of it. That was a good lift. Good shot. Oh, well, he's missed it. Well, he was in the driving seat, and as you said, all the way through the sharp end of this deciding game, he's got to go for it. There it is. Well, he lives and dies by the sword, that's for sure. But now it's match point for Shrikant Kadambi. Yeah. Eventually, after a gallant effort, it's Shrikant Kidambi who comes through two games to one. 7-21, 21-14. 22-20 in the deciding game. Well, what high drama here on court one in our fifth match of the day. Eventually, the third seed prevails in a punishing encounter fought off the mental demons to come through what was a really tough ask against a spirited display from Rhys Levadez. Oh, how about that? That really was a good win against a very tough opponent. He'll be delighted with that. He looks rather numb and shell-chocked. But uh, mercifully for all Indian fans. He's through at the expense of the Frenchman and lives to fight another day. Through to round two then, he continues.